EPAC stands for Extreme Photonics Application Center. Extreme Photonics is using very high power lasers to try to drive forward industrial economic applications of these lasers. So Rolls-Royce design and manufacture both jet engines and nuclear reactors and it's vitally important for us that we have good predictive capability based on science. EPAC is going to prove really valuable in that because we'll be able to improve our inspection of our components going into the engines and we'll also be able to understand how our components and how our products perform much better in service. It's always been in very much the scientific domain, it's been the the interaction of these lasers with, with targets that have produced interesting conditions that have been studied. But over the last, I would say, decade or so, it's become increasingly realized that these um, interactions produce particles. They produce radiation, and these particles and radiation have got interesting properties. What you see here is uh, the latest technology that we have achieved. So we developed this technology, this diode pump technology, that underpins EPAC. This technology allows us to now fire these very bright lasers 10 times a second. By doing that, we are able to now work with industry and look at novel ways of uh, manufacturing, but at a faster speed. We couldn't, for example, look at a sample every 20 minutes with the old laser technology. So with this technology, we've now moved closer to be able to do real world applications. There's a difference between demonstrating something in principle and then actually getting it to work in a, in a real situation. And EPAC is going to be able to do that for us and we'll work with other people and other groups around the world to, to start to really get the, these, these applications working and then hopefully deploy them in, in, in the field if you, if you like. So I think that's an important part of what EPAC is about is it's going to allow us to do um, cutting edge science and, and answer some proper difficult scientific questions. It's been jointly funded by the UKRI and the Ministry of Defence who are also interested in the potential applications of laser driven uh, sources. Importantly it's bringing together both the academic, the industrial, the defence communities with us in a national uh, lab environment and naturally we are, we are delighted to be uh, hosting this new national centre.